Uh, well, I studied in uh, London and at the Architectural Association. And in fact, I became aware of Norman very early on in my educational career because um, during that time, I was also in a design studio involved with um, lots of other people. And Norman was in fact involved with, uh, as, a, as a teacher, as a faculty member with that studio. Um, and so I got to know about him and know about his work. Uh, but also, um, it was very interesting because at the beginning, when Norman started, their office was in central London, and it was like a showcase. It was a shop, in a way, on the street, and you could see inside the office. For, for us, as a young students, it was a very exciting thing to basically see into the office and see the models and see all the work that was being um, being prepared and being presented. So uh, the impact or, or the access to Norman's work was very, very early on for me. I think the foundation is doing fantastic work because they're really dealing with a lot of uh, issues which are very concrete, which are very specific, and then also making these, uh, uh, these contributions in a way accessible to, uh, to a large group of people. In the years to come, probably, uh, you know, the diversity of the geography of the foundation is going to be something very exciting to look forward to because obviously as the foundation begins to have more resources and more capacity, the question is, uh, you know, how can it be operating in different parts of the world like Latin America or Africa or places like that? So I think the geography of the foundation uh, would be a very exciting uh, opportunity in the coming years. And the foundation is really producing uh, a very particular kind of work and providing a lot of opportunities for research, which is complementary to what happens within an academic environment, within uh, you know academic institutions. But I think that the advantage of the foundation is that it's able to focus on a very specific set of opportunities and to um, operate at a very, very high level, addressing key uh, issues that uh, face the built environment. Um, and I think that that's really um, an incredible thing to be able to provide these opportunities, especially when it also opens its doors to young scholars and people who will really um, make an impact on the world of, uh, in the world of design and on, on society. Uh, in the future. So I think it's, it's the, the nature of its focus is something that's very exciting and, uh, and, and very productive. I think for me, just because I, I got to know Norman's work very early on, you know, one of the projects that I could mention is the Willis uh, Faber building uh, in Ipswich in England, because I think that that was a really transformative early project that really reconsidered the conception of the office building uh, or the idea of a working environment and how this working environment could be richer uh, than the conventional space, could create uh, different kinds of relationship between the workers, but even as an office building provides something to the community, which it tried to do, for example, by um, opening up its uh, swimming pool that was inside an office building or, or to actually also think in a very innovative way about the materials and the, the relationship of the building to the city through the, the ut utilization of a kind of reflective glass. So I think that building was something very unusual um, uh, for the time and I think it's gone on to influence other projects 